Now, what did uh, Pavarotti sound like when he was young? The first ever recording made by the opera singer has been released. It lay unheard in his personal archives for five decades. His widow found it after his death from cancer six years ago, and it's just been released. Here's uh, a clip. <laughs> has the power to move I think listening to him but someone with a trained ear is uh, Petro Trelawney who regularly presents the classical magazine program Music Matters on BBC Radio 3. Tell us a little bit about the recording and, uh, and where it was made. Well as I understand it it was made here uh, in the early 50s uh, at the London Palladium and at very short notice uh, on a popular Sunday night show live at the Palladium presented by Bruce Forsyth who's still a character on British yeah. television today. He was drafted in. Giuseppe De Stefano, an acclaimed tenor in his own right, had gone ill. Uh, Pavarotti had been out riding his horse in the afternoon and was brought to the studio. Bruce said, you know, apologies if he's walking a bit strangely he's just got off horseback and he did this fantastic performance but I think what's really important about it is you hear on this recording of a young man who went on to become probably the biggest opera singer of all time such honesty such beauty such straightforwardness in his performance it's absolutely honest and absolutely engrossing isn't it I mean you listen to it and you think you know you raised your eyes when you heard it wow it's incredible yeah. And that was, I mean, as I say, I'm not listening with a trained ear. How has his voice, or how did his voice change from that time to when he was absolutely at his career peak? Well, curiously, it, it, it didn't. I mean, mm. the point with his voice was that you knew what you were going to get. You knew you were going to get this absolutely straightforward,